people welcome back to my youtube channel Aliyah principal I'm your host Shaheen it's been a while since we have examined gold and silver uh, in the long term we are going to do uh, exactly that right now first we are going to uh, look closely on a silver chart and then we'll discuss gold then we might have to uh, look at a couple of miners as well we we'll try to look at GDX MTA which is a well a famous uh, miner at the time and we have Witten precious metals as well. Both of them, they actually contribute uh, uh, in gold industry by buying different uh, uh, portions of uh, different companies and then creating contracts. They have uh, they have small percentages in different companies as well. So we're going to look in the, in them all of that. So let's start with the silver. Uh, first of all, the chart is in front of you. There's a talk that gold and silver are showing uh, the strongest week. Is since it's a good while so we have to look at the chart and see what it exactly is right now I can see a very clear pattern and I'm gonna go zoom in to see uh, what pattern I'm seeing actually so I'm I'm not considering it as an A B and C pattern I'm considering it as an A B and C pattern and I think that the larger pattern that we are seeing is yet not done for example this pattern we have seen we go up right over here and we have seen a deeper wave down over here so that deep wave is giving an indication that we are yet not into the bull market that a lot of us would love to have it so deeper indication because if the if the market was completely one-sided for example we have seen right over here we have a sharper move downside in which we can see that there were no uh, deeper corrections especially later in the trend all right so we can clearly see that initial wave 2 was deeper but now we can when prices move sharply we did not have a deeper move so we can see that we have kind of a deeper move in the initial and then we prices went on and then we have a deeper move later on as well this giving us an indication that is that is we are not in a bullish move or we are not in a decisive move i would say so the other pattern that we have left giving us an indication that the swing is yet not over uh, so the next possibility brings us to us that this is one swing right over here and then we are con creating another swing right over here and the past prices will go over over here in terms of Elliott wave analysis I'm considering this whole pattern that actually starting from over here is an A pattern a V pattern a C pattern basically a flat correction an expanded flat correction in which wave A is three wave structure wave B is three wave structure and wave C is going to be a five wave structure now I'm going to discuss w what are to expect it over here but I'm right now considering this is a three three and a five wave structure when this structure is complete we will consider it as a W wave this is an X wave and then we are uh, uh, going to expect the prices to go jump over here and uh, giving us indication that we are going to see a double top with this one which is uh, it looks like wave four uh, for now we will not go into the deeper uh, area of that as for uh, the immediate swing that is actually started from over here we can clearly see it's a five wave structure right over here however the support line that's actually covering the previous structure five wave structure is broken so this is giving us indication is broken right over here so this is giving us an indication that the structure actually started from over here what's going on right now so with this structure we can see w x and y within x we are expecting an a a b and a c structure and within wave c we have completed an a a b and a c and expanded flat either the uh, last couple of days have been bullish but I will uh, show you a, a, a chart which I think is going to uh, be happening with silver. We, there is a stronger possibility that we can actually see a sharper move downward creating a double bottom either with this one or this one. So the sharper move maybe one day move could actually be that sharper because right now silver is way overbought. If we are considering this thing downward then silver is way overbought and we can see that most of the price action has happened in the last two days we have spent a lot of days in over here let me zoom in so you can actually see so we can see that a lot of time has been spent in here right over but last two days have been really um, bullish so we are overly bought right now and I think that we are going to go sharply down once that move sharply happens uh, I have seen this happening in the in the past and then if I open a gold chart I'll be able to show where exactly we have seen it a similar behavior not an exact behavior but a similar behavior 
so this is what the forecast is in silver we are to see a good move downwards towards a $19 and 15 cents 19 dollar 20 cents and then we are to see price moving upward completing this structure that actually started from over here as W and X and a Y once that structure is complete uh, then you will have to keep an eye that we yet are moving in a trend that actually started from over here all right so in that mean this is a 5F structure and a larger correction uh, this is what I'm expecting right now in which case we are going to key create a double uh, low this one uh, with a previous low that we had sharper low right over here so we are expecting a double low with this one 1160 it can actually uh, stay up a bit and give us somewhere around $13 there is a possibility but the largest swings I'm interested in if you are interested in precious metals I think that we probably have two weeks three weeks more time then we can buy in and we can anticipate the larger move and we can get out of the market this would actually be a 50 percent increase in the price of silver from going from 1915 all the way to 27 dollars so almost 45 to 50 percent increase in the price of silver we will look at the stock market uh, especially the uh, gold and silver miners to see how we can actually benefit it I'll try to use a couple of examples but this is the larger pattern that we are seeing and I wanted to um, post the video before uh, Friday because normally a larger move and uh, does happen towards the or a decisive move does happen towards the end of the week so this is the larger move that we are expecting in gold uh, I, I mean in silver and uh, let's have a look the pattern is clearly uh, labeled uh, if you are interested in uh, and seeing silver in gold analysis I'm going to discuss that but we do not have a lot of labeling in that so we'll look into that now gold has shown a lot of resistance uh, as compared to uh, as compared to silver we have seen a lot of we have seen silver trading in the lower range while gold is towards the upper area of the move uh, up towards the upper section of of the larger move that we are expecting that's why I'm expecting that we are going to move down right over here the move that actually started from over here is yet not complete I'm leaving the labeling um, completely open and I want to see what different uh, labeling you can do with the with this chart <coughs> first of all the immediate thing that we are expecting in gold is a drop towards downward over here creating a double bottom with this one and I think that we have completed the resistance I think the larger move is yet complete as a from support to resistance we have completed the move price is coming down but as far as swing is concerned one more swing is expected upward when silver is going to go from eight nineteen dollars to twenty seven dollar I think we are going to see about three hundred dollar move uh, for gold and when it hits the top then we are to see a sharper move downwards uh, so basically uh, this one right over here and the timeline is is right over here these these this is the timeline I'm expecting uh, for gold and silver to follow all right this is October 23 first week second week uh, of October 2023 and then uh, somewhere around in August of 2024 we are expected to see a bottom uh, in gold so in next couple of weeks two three weeks I'm expecting that we have to see a sharper move downward creating a double bottom in gold and then from here we are going to expect the prices to go and create another double top with this one so solidifying the the top area so reversal can actually be very quick we need to get uh, back to a very important plate here uh, that ev events prices are close to important levels right over here I wanted to show this line here so a lot of you probably remember this chart that we have here this day that happened uh, this was the Friday and then this was the opening uh, Monday Sunday evening and within like couple of hours I think we have see prices going from 1761 to 1680 1691 so almost like 70 80 dollars within couple of hours it happened so this is what happens when there is a resistance right over here and the prices have just about to run out of the time it happens in a very short period of time there is a possibility that for example let us have a look uh, prices were right over here within three four days when this is when I think uh, Russia actually attacked Ukraine and uh, these are the initial days to initial few days 
so this is happening within a week time prices went up and then reflected so once we are talking about gold since the resistance upward is really strong we might have a little good chance for first of all I'm expecting a sharper move downward and I'll give you the reason because we are expecting a sharper move in silver and that's why I'm expecting a sharper move in gold as well and I'll show you the example where uh, we have seen uh, why I'm expecting the sharper move in in, uh, in gold and silver and once the bottom is concerned and prices go up I think there is a possibility that we can actually sharply go up from over somewhere over around this region and then reflect back so be really careful around this area there's going to be a lot of volatility in a shorter period of time and let's have a look at GDX and see how GDX is doing Okay, let's bring back the weekly chart here. Okay, first of all, we are to see prices move down, going downwards, creating a double bottom with this bottom. This will give us an indication that once the double bottom is completed, this will uh, help us uh, to make a good entry for people uh, who are still out of uh, the stocks in gold and silver mining stocks and from this moment I think we have to go up right over here somewhere in this range so good price movement is expected in GDX but for now I'm uh, bearish and then we are expecting for the price to turn uh, bullish somewhere over here we can actually see uh, double top forming with this one there's a possibility that we're going to see that in that case after that we are going to see this over here So this will be the last moment when before we see a, a larger move downward. So be aware that larger movement downward in uh, gold and silver is expected and it's going to create a lot of drama. A lot of people are going to buy yet again near the top and when prices come down again it's going to be a very bad time for them as well. Let's have a look at wheat and precious metals. And once again we are looking for a similar pattern that we are seeing. Uh, then there is a possibility that we actually can go a little further down uh, for wheat and precious metal and then from over here seventy two bucks and And let's have a look Matala. Matala is uh, at a very interesting stage. It has dropped already quite a bit. So I think it's going to drop a bit more. Created a double bottom with this one on the trend line. With this one right over here. And then we're expecting uh, a sharper move on the upward. Because we had two chances. So there's a possibility we can actually uh, go and either stop over here and if you can clear this area in that case the next target is going to be eight dollars in this region once that is complete uh, we are going to come down and break the trend line okay this is expected in Metalla I hope that I was able to provide some assistance with Sugar Luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.